Students graduating from Philander Smith College this weekend got more than just a diploma when they walked across the stage. Alexis Wainwright has more on a surprise announcement that his students and their families celebrating. Most of the 2021 and 2020 graduating class here at Philander Smith College got the surprise of a lifetime. We celebrate the journey of our students. On Saturday during their graduation ceremony in Little Rock. That all of your balances have been cleared and paid. Philander Smith College President Rondrick Smothers broke the news to all the graduating seniors with debt. Thanks to the wonderful generosity of the Jack and Jill Foundation, um, our friends and alums and others who support us, we were able to pull together those funds. Some students are still in shock. I really was not expecting that, and I know the uproar of the students, they were very surprised. My dad was at the graduation, and once he heard the news, I actually saw him almost jump out of the building because <laughs> he was just as excited as I was. The college says nearly 90% of the student body had a balance, so this news helps lift some of the weight off of these college graduates. It does help all of us out with us graduating and trying to make our next step, um, taking that big stress off of us. It was important to figure out a way to help our students to be able to make a seamless transition from completing their undergraduate degrees and moving into the world of work. Smother says this is just one of the examples of historically black colleges and universities pride. That's the beauty of the HBCU experience uh, is that we have uh, amazing alums who go out and make a difference and one of the requirements that we have of our alums is that they never forget the institution and the students who come behind them. Well, I was really excited when I did walk across the stage and then seeing that we did get our diploma that same day was just crazy. The students who I talked to say that they hope to pay it forward and help some graduating seniors in the future. Reporting in Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.